What do you do with a problem? This is the sequel to What Do You Do With an Idea? Written by Kobe Yamada, illustrated by May Besa. What do you do with a problem? I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. dark and gray. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem? I thought. I wanted to make it go away. I shoot it. I scowled at it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. Nothing's working. Will you help me turn the page? Will you turn this page for me, please? No, not interested. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? Looks like it's getting bigger. What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? Oh no. What if it takes away all of my things? It's very worried. I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and worried about that. Ugh. I can relate to that worrying about what would happen, could happen. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. How do you think he can fix this problem? He's so worried about it. What can he do to make it better? I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen with his problem? And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. Would you like to go play? It seems like you would like to go play. Here you go. But that doesn't mean keep talking throughout the story. So he's, maybe he's overreacting. Maybe it's not really that big of a deal. I realized that I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know their secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. So maybe you've encountered a problem, you're really worried about it, but instead of worrying and worrying and making it bigger and bigger, you need to tackle it just like he did. And you might just learn and grow from it.